Hello there, welcome back to another outdoor equipment review. In this one, I'm taking a look at a flashlight that fits on your head and is ridiculously powerful. This is the Thrunite TH30. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you may well know that I had a TH10 and a TH20. I think I gave the TH20 away in a competition video a while back. But I do still have the TH10 around somewhere. Although I can't lay my hands on it at the moment, which is a bit of a bugger, because I wanted to compare it to this one. I think that TH10 was either 950 or 1000 or 1100 lumens or something. But this one just absolutely blows it away, as you'll see later in the video when we go out tonight. On turbo, this one is 3350 lumens, dropping down to, I think, 1150, although I will check that. Yeah, when you first put the turbo on, which I'll show you in a second, 3,350 lumens dropping down to 1,050 lumens for a more stable light output and something that's not just going to drain the battery flat very quickly. Talking of batteries, this one is an 18650. This is a through night battery and it packs a lot of power and delivers a lot of punch. So we've got from 0.5 lumens which is a firefly mode, that's like reading things very, very close, right up to 3,350 lumens, and pretty much everything in between, as well as an SOS. We'll just turn it on, put it into firefly, just see, 0.5 lumens, very, very dull, and that'll last, oh Christ, I can't remember what they say, probably about 400 and odd days or something, it lasts some ridiculous amount of time. Hello, Charlie. So, put it off, and we'll put it back on, and we'll keep the button held in. And you can see the various outputs there. I'll just stop it when it gets onto the SOS. So there you go, three dots, three dashes, three dots, SOS. And a double press will take it into the turbo mode, which is the 3,350 lumens. Doesn't look much in the daytime, obviously, but on a night, it's pretty impressive. The strap, as far as I can tell, is the same as the, what it was for the TH10. It gets a very good hold around here and also over the top, and it is adjustable both ways. The thing that holds the flashlight in is a little rubbery mount which holds it well, but still allows you to manoeuvre the light up and down if necessary. Now like most through night flashlights, this one is drop resistant from about 1.5 metres. So if you had it at kind of chest height or neck height and dropped it onto a concrete floor or something really solid, you wouldn't expect it to break. It's also waterproof down to 2 metres. Uh, it's IP times 8 which is equivalent of IP68, waterproof and rating, dustproof, all that good stuff. So you know for a fact that once you get this battery fixed in here, water and dust isn't going to ingress into the chamber and knacker the battery. And as far as charging the battery goes, you can either take it out and put it into a standard charger, or it actually has a little rubber flap on the end here, which I'll give you a close-up of in a second. But that basically takes a micro USB, so you can charge it from any sort of battery backup, a little solar panel, or indeed from just a phone charger, or basically something you just plug into the wall, you know, or from your computer into here. It's pretty versatile. And I love the fact that you can just charge it without taking the battery out and without needing a specific charger, because sometimes the chargers for these big batteries are pretty expensive. They often cost way more than the actual batteries themselves which in themselves are pretty expensive. Luckily, this one is included. Now, as far as the outputs go, my memory is absolutely atrocious. I will put all the different outputs in the video description and also in the pinned comment so you can see all the various light outputs and the run times as well, as well as any other useful information and important links. They'll be in there too. And aside from helping me out by not making me look like a fool for giving out incorrect information, it'll help you because some people have a problem 
understanding my accent. I don't exactly speak the Queen's English, you know. Okay, let's get this onto the tabletop, as well as the box and as well as whatever comes with it. I'll run through the whole kit and then we'll take it outside when it's dark and I'll show you the various light outputs. And then we'll come back and I shall give you my thoughts on it. Okay, apart from the little instruction booklet, this is what comes in the box. We've got the main light, we've got the holder, which is made of a rubbery material, and then we've got the elastic headband, which holds it onto your head. You've also got a spare rubbery holder, which is a very good idea, because that one will wear away eventually, and there's another one just waiting to take over. Crack an idea. Then you've got a couple of spare seals and a spare charger cover. You've got a clip and the clip allows you to clip this onto your shirt pocket or onto your cap. Like so. If you didn't want it on your head. Oof. And that gets a good hold. When that is clipped on, you're not going to lose that. There's also a little charging lead. And if you didn't want to take the battery out, you would just remove this little rubbery flap here. You put your micro USB in, and then you would take this end away to your power supply. And you may have noticed that there's actually a blue light on here. And the blue light means currently there's between 21 and 100% capacity in the battery. That's basically a battery indicator. If it was red, you would have between 11 and 20% worth of battery left. And if it was flashing red, you would have between 1 and 10% of your battery left. So you would know when to charge up. That is a really nice feature. And if you turn it on and nothing happens, if the light doesn't come on and there's no light comes on there, well, you know then that there's no battery life left at all. So we'll just take this to bits. You can either take it off the front, like that, or you can take it off the back, like that. There you go. So if one gets really full of grit and is unable to be taken off, at least you can still get the battery out if you need to. Another feature here you may have noticed is that there's little lines cut in the back of here. That is to prevent this head from heating up because when it's on a high power, this will get hot. That just helps to dissipate the heat. Just give you a close up of it. You can see it's extremely well made, as you'd expect from through night products. It is a very, very good light. But me talking about something is never very interesting. So let's get it outside and see what it's actually like in the dark. And remember, I will put the various light outputs in the video description and in the pinned comment because I will forget them when I'm outside. Okay, now what you're seeing there is just the light from my camcorder. Oh, you can maybe just tell there uh, that is a pretty low power setting. Let's just raise this up into the darkness and we'll increase the power settings. Whoa, look at that, man. That is damn bright. The camcorder's probably not picking it up very well, but that is lighting up probably about 50 yards in front of me in this wood. We'll switch to the turbo setting. Whoa, man. Hope you'll agree, that's pretty impressive. From a head-mounted light, especially one as small as this. Just set this up and walk into the field of view so you can see what sort of light it gives off.
Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to come out actually on film, but this has got a very, very wide beam. It lights up an incredibly wide area. I'm kind of hoping that it, you can pick up the trees there. Just raise the camera up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those silver birch just off to the right are approximately 35 metres away. And it's fairly lighting them up. Good stuff. Oh man, it's absolutely chucking it down. So I'm going to turn this off now and I'll give you the summary. Okay, it should come as no surprise that I think this thing's absolutely awesome. I urge you all to check out Through Night Sight. It's coming up to Christmas. Get yourself one. Get somebody who you care about one because they're cracking lights. I really can't say anything more than that. A really well made, functional, eh, you know, it's through night, isn't it? You know, they're pretty much the best out there as far as I'm concerned. I've got loads of their lights for different applications. And this particular one is going to be making its way into my bug out bag because the one I've got in there at the moment is just a standard kind of like a tactical flashlight sort of a thing, which means that to use it, you have to actually um, be holding it, so that ties up one of your hands, you know? So, a head-mounted one would allow me to do things like set traps on a night, would allow me to hunt for fish in rivers on a night, and basically do all those things that require two hands without the need to hold a flashlight or put one down at the side somewhere. These are a very good idea. And the fact that it's over 3,300 lumens when you click that little turbo button means that if the car headlights ever fail on my car, I can just ask somebody else to drive, I can lie on the bonnet and just look up the road, I won't see where we're going. It's all good. So that's about it. Check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay guys, this is a very quick notification that this video is forming part of one of my giveaway videos. If you scroll down the pinned comment and also the video description, you'll see a link there. That's to a secret giveaway video. I'm not giving this away, but I'm giving a nation of stuff away that if you've liked this, you will love. So please check that out. Visit that secret video and you'll be in with a chance of winning something in time for Christmas.